Smartcast. You are listening to a Mint production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Hi, Why Not Mint Money is a daily podcast on personal finance that helps you get smart about managing money. We help you understand basic money concepts to keep you from making bad money mistakes. Why Not Mint Money is your one-stop solution to money matters. So, let's get started. Welcome to your money journey. Hello everyone. I am Shipra from Mint's personal finance team and today's topic of Why Not Mint Money podcast is how to save tax through home loans. Loans can make up a major part of your tax saving planning. And one such category is housing loans that enjoy separate tax benefits on the interest and the principal components of the loan. Cumulatively, you can save as much as rupees 5 lakh or more on taxes through a home loan. To give a break up on this figure, up to rupees 1.5 lakh principal amount can be claimed under section 80C, up to rupees 2 lakh is allowed on the interest under section 24 and there's a special additional rupees 1.5 lakh rebate available on interest which we will discuss in detail in this podcast. Rules around tax breaks available on housing loans vary greatly for under construction property, ready to move in house and land. Further, whether the loan being serviced is on a self-occupied or a let out house can also affect the quantum of tax breaks that you can claim. To understand all these nitty-gritties of housing loans, we have with us Ritesh Kumar who is a partner at Indus Law as the expert speaker for today's podcast. Welcome to the podcast Ritesh. Hi this is Ritesh Kumar I am a tax partner with Indus Law a chartered accountant with over 14 years of professional consulting experience Ritesh let's begin with you explaining to our uh, listeners the additional deduction that is available to them under section 80 EEA Under the objective of housing for all the government has now extended the interest deduction allowed for low cost housing loans taken during the period 1st April 2019 to 31st of March 2021 the government has allowed an additional deduction of rupees 1 lakh 50000 from the income of any individual who has acquired his first house property within the stamp value of rupees 45 lakhs and for this purpose has got a loan sanctioned by a financial institution during the period beginning 1st April 2019 and ending on 31st March 2021 so fundamentally if you have purchased a house property for which the stamp value is less than 45 lakh rupees and for this purpose you have borrowed from a bank and the borrowing has been approved during 1st April 2019 to 31st March 2021 and at the time when you bought this property this was the first house property that you bought an additional deduction of 1 lakh 50000 rupees is availed from your taxable income all right So let's talk about the principal component now. So what are the different conditions under which uh, deduction under section 80C can be claimed? Section 80C of the Income Tax Act confers various deductions on an individual taxpayer. One of the benefits that can be availed is deduction towards repayment of the amounts borrowed by an individual SSC from a bank including a cooperative bank. the the provision allows for claiming the principal value of repayment as a deduction from your taxable income however the total limit under which you could claim such a deduction continues to remain 1 lakh 50000 rupees which is the limit set for the broader section 80c of the act per se there are no conditions that have been prescribed for a claim of this sort to be made while computing taxable income however it is important to know that the amount borrowed must be for the purpose of purchase or construction of a residential house property the income from which would have otherwise been chargeable as income from house property 
and what about interest what are the different conditions uh, you know for deduction on interest under section 24 homeowners can claim a deduction of up to 2 lakh rupees on their home loan interest provided the property is self occupied here there are fairly simple conditions that the law prescribes a the loan must have been taken after 1st of april 1999 the loan must be for purchase and construction of a property and the purchase or construction must be completed within 5 years from the end of the financial year in which the loan was taken where the assc has opted for two houses and both the houses are treated as self occupied houses the combined total deduction of the amount of interest given shall remain 2 lakh rupees one of the other conditions that uh, the law prescribes for compliance is that you must have obtained a certificate from the lender on the amount of total interest payable during a particular financial year so typically banks are known to issue such certificates digitally and uh, these certificates are treated as some kind of an evidence to substantiate a claim for a housing loan interest to be uh, taken as a deduction from taxable income right so here i would like to add two things for our listeners one is that the rupees 2 lakh limit that ritesh just mentioned is applicable to loans that are taken for a self occupied property and in the case of a let out property there's no limit on the interest eligible for tax rebate and the full interest that you pay in a year can be claimed as deduction the second point is uh it is necessary that you understand that what a self occupied house means in income tax parlance a property will qualify as self occupied when the owner or his family actually lives in it and such property or even a part of it has not been let out at any time during a financial year if the owner is unable to live in his house as his work requires him to be in another city then this house will qualify to be self occupied if it is kept vacant and not given on rent and the owner is living in a property that is not owned by him in his work city so moving on uh, ritesh i want to understand what is what are the tax rebate rules for a land purchase so why don't you tell us for land purchase uh, there aren't any specific tax rebates uh, but but the general tax rebate allowed for interest on home loans continues to be available for land purchases too provided you complete the construction of the house property within a period of 5 years from when the loan has been taken so to say if you acquired land and you con- and you pay interest on s- on such a loan taken for acquisition of land per se the interest is not deductible however when you finish the construction and like i pointed earlier construction needs to be completed within 5 years from the date of the loan the the interest so then paid becomes available as a tax deduction for the period when the land has been taken and the construction is undergoing the amount of interest can be aggregated and can be claimed over a period of 5 years beginning the year in which the property construction is completed so technically you don't lose any interest benefits on such in such situations all right so that brings us to our last question um, can a tax payer claim hra on rent and tax rebate on a home loan simultaneously yes uh, the tax payer can claim the benefit of hra and the rebate of housing loan uh, together one does not have a bearing on the other uh there are however few conditions that are required to be complied with when you uh when you claim for hra for example uh furnishing the landlord's pan number when the annual rent exceeds uh, 1 lakh rupees and and towards that you know there are certain formalities especially if if the landlord is an nri there is a withholding tax obligation also so in principle uh, both the claims can be made and uh, while you make the claim for hra you just need to make sure you comply with such conditions that are prescribed that brings us to the end of our podcast 
If you'd like to know more on this topic or make a suggestion of a personal finance topic that you want us to cover, I can be reached at Twitter and LinkedIn under the username of Shipra Singh Saurat. Thank you for tuning in. See you in the next episode. Thanks for listening in. We're also available on livemin.com. And if you're old school, then do pick up a copy of Mint for some insightful coverage. If you have any questions you want us to address, do reach us out at HT Smartcast. We are present on Twitter, Facebook and Insta. And if you want to connect over email, write in to us at mintmoney at livemint.com. Until next time, it's bye-bye. This was a Mint production brought to you by HT Smartcast. HT Smartcast.